Hey guys, so the next project's gonna be my workshop. Just moved house and my old workshop was where we're selling now, so this is the best I've got. We're gonna turn the shipping container into my workshop. It's not the biggest size to have a workshop, but it's all I've got at the moment, so we're gonna make do. First priority, this got dumped down by the truck. I didn't have time to level it out, so we're gonna jack this thing up and I'll show you the process of how to get it level. So there's quite a few different tools that you can use to jack this up. Depends really where your container's laying. So nice flat surface uh, with room underneath it. You could use a bottle jack. That'd probably be the easiest way. But as you can see here, we actually don't have any clearance under the container. So without having to dig huge holes to get a bottle jack under, it's gonna be a bit of a mission. Another thing you could use will be a tow jack. Um, they're pretty good, you don't really need any clearance for those at all. They can just slot into these holes there and push them up. But I've already bought a jack, so I've got a trolley jack that we use for jacking up cars and engines and well, anything really, we use it for all sorts. So I'm not going to go hire a tow jack when this is going to go do the trick anyway. This is a low profile trolley jack, uh, which means what I will have to do is dig about a 50mm little uh, trench under the container and that's just going to allow us to slide the end under it's only a two ton jack but uh, the container all up is about two and a half ton but we're only going to be doing it corner by corner so we don't actually need to have that full load of two and a half tons on it so this will do fine just doing it corner by corner got some big ass pavers here that I picked up these are going to make a nice solid base for each corner of the container when you put these down, you need to make sure that you've dug a nice flat pad for them to sit on. If you've got any bows that sit under the paver, when you put that pressure onto the paver, it's just gonna crack straight in the middle because you do have quite a bit of weight on them. You can use anything. I've got these pavers left over from a building job, so they'll do the trick just fine. I'm not getting it up that high. I'm just getting it up off the ground to let a bit of air flow through it. If you guys wanted to, you could use timber. Timber will do the trick as well. Um, this is a, I don't know, New Zealand standard H4 timber, so it can just sit on the ground, it's not gonna rot away. Don't use any kind of interior timbers or things that are piss weak and not gonna take any load at all. Make sure you've got something solid because you do have quite a bit of weight on it, and especially once you start filling it up, you're gonna have quite a lot of weight in there. So, remember when you're jacking, jacking, jeez, jacking it up, make sure that you're safe, you don't have anything, especially your body parts, under the container when you're doing it. Work in small amounts, and as you get that height up, start uh, putting your, your blocks underneath it. So, if, that, if you've jacked the container up that far, get blocks under as soon as you can so if that load was to come off the jack and fall it's only got a small amount to drop you're not dropping all the way down onto the ground and just be smart don't be an idiot get the right tool for the job if it's not going to work properly or you reckon it might be a little bit dangerous just go and hire a tool and do it properly all right let's go so we're just going to dig out a little bit of a flat pad for the jack here And then in here, I'm just gonna slide a nice solid surface to allow me to get that jack. Or else what you're gonna do is you're just gonna jack the jack into the ground. Um, and then that's gonna be a fuck up. Whatever bit of the container you're jacking up to is a structural bit. If you're just jacking it into this weak two mil steel, all it's gonna do is bend the container. So on this, we're actually on a structural bar. Um, and we're lining our, our, our load in there straight onto the bar. So, so there we go, we're coming off the ground now. And just until we're safe, we just start chucking some pavers under there.
Alrighty, so that's that first corner jacked up. Excuse the heavy breathing. So this other corner actually came up while we were doing that side. So while we've got it there, we're gonna chuck a few pavers under this area for safety. Then we'll dig that square out nice and flat to take the next pavers and we'll get some under there at the same time. level here we are bang on all right so now that whole side's done I know I said I was gonna do this side first and then the opposing side but that edge came up anyway with uh, while I was jacking the front so we're gonna start on this side here now okay perfect so this side is actually already level across this way um, which makes our life a bit easier uh, with these containers they actually they actually never perfectly built square and true anyway um, from fitting them out at people's holiday homes and office blocks things like that we actually find that everything I think they're slapped together pretty quickly and pretty roughly they're not they don't spend a lot of time getting them square and true so sometimes if you're checking with the level you're going to get it there and then when you check the side that's not level um, which doesn't really make sense but just know that sometimes these are built on the piss a bit and as they've been used over the years they probably move a bit um, and bend a bit but I mean it's a shipping container so you've got to take what you get Right guys, so that's all level now. Now we'll just uh, clean out these bottoms for our pavers, get that base nice and solid, and then pack it out. Cheers for watching today guys, I hope you learn a bit about uh, how to get this container off the ground. Just remember, if you're jacking up these things 2.5 tons or heavier, just use the right equipment, be safe while you're doing it, um, and just work with what you're, you feel safe doing, don't fucking rush it, and hurt yourself. So in the future, we're going to be cutting a hole in the side of this container here. Um, in a couple of weeks, once we finish the inside, we're going to do a deck out here. And that's going to be some of my main projects for things when I'm working on like little boat projects or things like that. And then I'll keep the inside mainly for cutting and for my tools. And definitely going to have to have a bar outside just to make sure that we uh, stay stay quenched after days like today so cheers guys give us a subscribe if you want to see the rest of the of the project and uh catch you later so bye big dog